Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse. And yes, I should have done a video this weekend, but ooh, <laughs> Saturday I just wasn't doing good. Mm -mm, the allergies, oh no. But I'm here now with some good news. I had shown you in a, not a recent haul, but a haul a while back from Honey Bee Stamps. This didn't come out in the new release, but the previous release, and it's called the Lovely Layers Coneflower. This thing, gorgeous as you can see, I've made it three times. Um, first time, second time, third time. <laughs> I get better as I go along. <laughs> and when I said this thing was a hard sellout, like you couldn't find it anywhere, but it's back in stock now at Honey Bee Stamps. So nowhere else, everywhere else is still sold out. So I guess eventually they'll ship it out to all the other retailers, etc. But this thing makes gorgeous flowers. So we're going to put together a quick sample of the cone flower, which is one, two, three, four layers, two tops right there, and then two leaves. Notice I didn't even do the leaf. I just, I was just going straight for the flower. And it is similar, very similar actually to this set. Lovely Layers Pine Cone. And if you guys, and I think in that haul video I did show you, this is the Lovely Layers Pine Cone. Love this. And the beauty of this set comes together very, very easily. So if you have a, you know, like I don't do layering well, Honey Bee makes their layering dyes like this. Approachable, easy, and quick. In this case, that's the pine cone from last Christmas. Still love, madly in love. And you notice how I put it in order too, so I can, you can just look here already. First layer, that's the bottom, second, third, fourth, fifth, top. In this instance, again, bottom, second, third, top. And then these are the toppers. Alrighty, let's get started. Let's take a deeper look into how to put this together and put together a card. Yay! Alrighty, crafters. So I'm going to do it. I have a bunch of pieces here. But I'm going to do it in black and white for contrast purposes so you can clearly see. Alrighty. And one nice thing about this, with the bottom layer, which will be the biggest... See how it has a whole cone flower shape? You can cut this piece like I did in my previous one. 110 pound, 110 pound. Just to add that stability or double up that bottom layer. Now, you can start. Here I'm using that little um, marker forte uh, pokey tool and pickup tool and curl, curl. Anything you have to curl, whether it's a wood dowel or something like this is probably something smaller than this and then the second layer I know this looks like a mess here's the second layer curl curl and this is a time too that you can ink your edges I haven't done the inking yet I will though one of these days <laughs> just haven't done it yet how has everybody been I went on Simon says in their clearance section I nearly cried I saw my favorite things MFT stamp dies for and stamps 99 cents everything sold out you'll see you can see what they had listed and you'll just notice beside it notify when back in stock that means that it's already sold out alrighty there you go that's the four layers alrighty, let me get my barely art glue and when you have it like this with the pieces what you want to do just put the glue in this top end don't you, you don't have to glue the rest and the beauty of it is just like that pine cone you're aiming for the top layer Okay, there, there. Let me zoom this down a little bit. And what I am aiming for is matching this top ridge. That's what I'm aiming for right there. Just line it up. And you see when I put on the black, how it, how it can just line up that top ridge, just like the pine cone. Same thing, you were lining up the top. So whoever designs their dies likes it to be easy, simple, and quick. See, and I'm gonna just push it straight up. And there there you'll feel it in person you'll definitely feel it and see it if you aren't seeing it here because I know right now I'm doing it on you know with black and white maybe that wasn't the best <laughs> colorway but I already have it in pink and all this stuff and I thought this would be easy to see ish <laughs> and here we go well what I wanted you guys to see was actually 
how the leaves look. See how it looks to show you the differences in the colors. Because if you do it all one color, then it loses some of its um, dimension. But And that's one of the reasons why I was using the gradient cardstock to give it that whole dimensional thing. Alrighty, let me zoom out when to apply the top. The top comes two ways. You have a solid piece and a piece with a little hole in it. The hole, the one with the hole in it, this one here, that's for your top. So if you're gonna lose anything on this die set, it could be this piece. That's okay, because right here is dictated. You know, I mean, if you were to lose anyone, this would be the only piece that you could lose. The leaves, I'm, I like the leaves. I'm not fascinated by them, so I'm okay. And I like the coneflower by itself. I don't know if it really needs the leaves. I didn't, I didn't do the leaves, I know. All the three times I've cut it out and played with it and everything, mm-mm, no leaf. All righty, here we go, here we go. Line it up, line it up. There, just for that top edge, right here, that top ridge. Just line it up. And at least with the wet glue, you get a little wiggle. There we go. So there is your beautiful cone flower. So pretty. So here it is in color, there it is in the black and white. And I could go the opposite direction. I could go flat, let me see, like so. See, you're always just lining up right there, the, the top ridge, the shape of the top ridge right there. And then the next layer, like so. Again, top ridge, and then the next layer. And this would be it flat. Okay, let me give you a measurement on this flower done with the layers. Three and a quarter by two. Yeah, three and a quarter by two. Nice, super nice. Alrighty, moving on. Alrighty, crafters, so I thought I was recording, but sometimes my phone kicks out if somebody calls me. I hope you guys saw when I had put this together. I'm gonna find out soon. And um, I don't know how far back it kicked out, so I'm gonna show you. The purple set is using Alta New gradient cardstock. Not the cheapest in the world, but I appreciate the gradient. I didn't use the darkest, I used these three. That's new purple, love. Next set, so that's the purple. Next set, second love is this one. Red sunset, that's here. I didn't use the darkest here. I think I went between three. I think when I tried it with this, it was just looking too, too far out. And you don't need four layers for something like this. And then the third was Cherry Blossom, right here, gradient cardstock. So I was having fun marrying all to new with honeybee stamps. Alrighty, so now with this, the glitter here, this is from Michaels. And I thought I would have liked it, but I wasn't loving it in the pink. So that was the first time I made it. Second time I made it, I went a little bit more lighter. This is a kind of a peachy glitter. Can you see? It's a peachy glitter, very pretty. And then this has that kind of a corally color coming back down to here. So I like this, this was my second. And then of course for my third was my favorite color purple. And instead of going that bright yellow, it didn't look right. Of course I'm back with Bumblebee Dance. I haven't let go Bumblebee Dance guys. <laughs> This is um, glitter cardstock from Hobby Lobby. Now, the reason I'm showing you this one is because if you see it in person in the store, it's gonna look cream. It's a kind of a cream light yellow. So if you see it, you'll know what it is. From Doodlebug, yes, it is $1.99. No, they don't put it on sale. They used to a long time ago before they removed that whole 40% stuff. Now they only put the Paper Studio paper, but this is obviously brand. Um, the number is 2976 Vanilla Sugar Coated Cardstock. Love. It has, yeah, it, it releases a little bit of glitter, but it's not crazy crazy. It's not a crazy shedding glitter, but it is very pretty. And as you can see, at $2 a sheet, I only cut and use what I need. I apply an adhesive sheet and that's it. Right here, this is my sentiment. It fits right there, you see? So you don't have to get the adhesive sheets, like your Sizzix adhesive sheets. 
favorite from Hobby Lobby when Sizzix goes on sale, get it at 40%. You could do four sheets like this, but why? <laughs> Unless you're going to be making, you know, 15, 20 cards at one time and you are definitely going to be using this, then yes, then use it up. But I generally cut and use what I need and that's it. I don't go the other way. Okay. All righty. So... We're going to make a quick card. I showed you I was gonna make a slimline card. And I thought I was filming this and I don't know what happened. Let me tell you, this is eight and a half by three and three quarter. And for my Aussie viewers, hey guys. And I have more than one. <laughs> Somebody did comment for, you know, when they're abroad, they don't use inches, they use a metric system. So the real nice thing with the Victor ruler here is that I'm showing you guys, I went eight and a half, but they can also see 21.5 centimeters, right? Yeah, love it. The width, so this slim line is gonna be three and three quarter or nine and a half. And then the inside piece, the inside layering piece was three and a half. So that's nine centimeters by eight and a quarter inches. And then there you can go right down there. So I hope you guys can see that well. Okay, so if I don't tell you the centimeters, at least you can see it. And, or you can know the American, but if you can get, get this um, ruler over there too. Um, it's sold on Amazon and I do link it below because it's called the Victor Easy Read Ruler. And that's why I use it a lot in videos. I actually don't craft with it. You would think I would, but I don't. Um, I find this metal, which is, which is nice to actually cut with your um, X-Acto knife, but I find it a little, you know, sharp on the hands. And I'm used to my Tim. For crafting, I go with my Tim Holtz. Here is a more smoother edge. And I like to keep this clean for you guys too, okay? And so now my next layer, which I was working on before the video cut out, <laughs> was eight inches, and that's the size of the Bumblebee paper by three and a quarter, okay? So that's why I double layered it because I know that the Bumblebee paper here is eight by eight inches. You guys know I love this paper. I am still madly in love. You guys can't stand the purple. Okay, just use a different color. That's <laughs> okay. Just picture it in pink and whatever other shades that you love, blues, go ahead. And it inspires me using this paper because it's such a unique, fun colorway. I love it. I'm loving this purple mustard yellow thing. I, I just, you know, you haven't seen it in a while anyway. Kinda. <laughs> All right, let me stand up to stick it down. And I'm using the, let me center it, there. And I am using the Scotch 3M roll tape. This is that three quarters of an inch, which yes, I definitely do still store in a busted storage bag. But guess what? My roll is nice and fresh. Remember I did a video on this? So if you got yourself a big roll, it comes about this big, stick it in a, in a baggie, some sort of baggie. Not a grocery bag where air can get into it, but one that locks close like this. At this size, I can go into a regular, you know, gallon Ziploc bag and keep it fresh. Alrighty, so here are my three layers and this is on a 110 pound base, all right? Alrighty, and there are my purple flowers, my purple cone flowers. So now, I cut my sentiment, and this is using Simon Says Stamp, Sending Smiles. Love this die set, love, love, love. It is a two layer die set. Yes. This is a, why waste it? Has adhesive on the back too, in teal. So it comes with the shadow and then the words. And I cut it out with the same doodle bug glitter cardstock. Um, I will, if I find it, I, I should be able to find it, but I don't know if a lot of, I know a lot of people sell doodle bug, but do they sell the doodle bug glitter cardstock? I'm not a hundred percent. I will definitely check out um, scrapbook.com and a few other places just to, just to check, but Hobby Lobby for sure. Alrighty, I'm going to double this up using my Barely art glue. You guys must be like, what, you, what happened to the art glitter? I don't know, I'm not using it. Can you imagine? I'm really liking this barely art glue. I, I think it's the 
extra, extra fine tip and that long needle so I'm not getting any kind of clogging. Let me see, or do I want it like so? No, I don't like it like that. Yeah, I kind of like it opposite end. And then here, I did put my adhesive sheet, my Sizzix adhesive sheet. You guys know, still loving. Stretch it out, only use what you need. Use it for, um, you know, your sentiments and small little things, little doodads. You don't need, funny enough, you don't need it for this, which is nice, because you're only gluing up here. You don't even need it for that top part. But then again, I shouldn't say that. Let me back off of that one. Because on glitter, sometimes with wet glue, and I've noticed it, when I put it on glitter, I'll see little lumps and ridges. It's not smooth. It's not a smooth application, and I notice it. And even if you do like three lines, all of a sudden I'm looking at the glitter and I'm like, what, what are those three lines? Foil for sure. Oh, it shows on foil, wet glue. So for the top piece, yes, you could use just a little square of adhesive sheet for the top. And I'm just gonna pick this out and I'll be right back. Alrighty, crafter, so I had to kinda, once you use glitter cardstock, which, you know, needs pressure to cut with a die cutting machine, much less backed with the adhesive sheet. Yeah, you'll just have to weed it out, but it's okay. Just use your fingers and, and weed it through. Here is Sending Smiles. Oh, I love this die so much. I sent this with that gift from Mommy Loves Gigi. Oh, she certainly did go to Simon Says and buy the die for herself. Because <laughs> it's so pretty and it's so, you know, nice the way it just sending smiles and then I have this little extra piece that was here in the by the G with the heart so I can pop that out and let's just stick the little heart back in I could put it on the D or I can put it on the G and I think I'm gonna stick with the way Simon says had it there we go cute 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 I was going to go a different color way but when I was going purple and yellow I think it was um clashing too much with the florals, with the flowers in the background, I mean. Not this, but this. Alrighty, and I can pop this up a little bit more. Why not? I don't put a little, well, no, I don't need to. It's 110 pound cardstock. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put my sentiment. I'm standing up, because I'm centering this one. Am I good? Yeah, I feel, yep, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> okay. Everything wants to be centered today. That's nice. That's very nice. And then adhere my flowers. Ooh, I love this. I'm loving this. So this is another application for your bumblebee dance paper using the cone flower with it. I'm loving this. See, if I gave this to somebody, when I give this to somebody, because I have a friend who she loves purple just like I do. If I don't put it in an envelope, I'm just put it in a gift bag with, you know, little goodies. Little goodies for my crafty friend. There we go, there we go. Pretty, pretty. And then I can put some gems, little, little jemmies. Don't have that right now, but that's always a good thing. I did not bring any with me, did I? Not the right color. Not the right color. Because... I did play with that all to new floral kit, that um, seasonal blooms. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, let me tell you, pretty, pretty, pretty. Alrighty, there we go. Sending smiles on a nice um, slim line card. Can put my sentiment, I would put it this way just to go with this. Cute. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Alrighty, crafters, so don't walk, run. Honeybee stamps. Also, if you're looking for a nice layering set with the pine cone, this I will link as well because this is just as fabulous as this. These two, very, very, very easy to put together. Definite bang for your buck. And if you need to create something like mad quick, these are the layering flowers to go with. And this is one that even if you had kids helping you put it together, they can handle it because everything is right here. Everything is um, aiming for that top part. So with the thickness, yes, there is a little thickness to it. And I wouldn't use, a, I'd use 110 on the base, depending on your application. You could put this on a gift bag too, wouldn't it be nice? Or on 
This is that um, Avery L tag. Ooh, and then the little hanging part and tie it on a gift bag. Mileage, options, black and white. But I wouldn't use the rest at 110 pound because of the curling. You don't have to curl it, you can lay it all flat. Like if you wanna use it in a scrapbook layout and you wanna fit it in the sleeve, but definitely so, 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 so cute. So, 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 so cute. Alrighty crafters, until the next video, head out to Honey Bee. Grab your coneflower before it's gone. If by some crazy reason it's not there, click to be notified. They'll let you know, then you get it. But I think they they restocked this and it's been gone for a while. So I'm pretty sure they ordered enough. And also notify for the ink blending holder, the ink stand. I know a few of you love it. Yeah, it's it's cool, it's cool. And I will link it below if you missed my last video talking about the ink stand. And you can get free shipping once you reach 75 at honeybee so if you get the coneflower a few of those ink stands or coneflower and maybe something from their new release also check out their clearance and retiring section too may find some goodies there mm -hmm. you will hit 75 quickly and then get that free shipping alrighty crafters until the next video i am sending smiles stay crafty my friends bye